now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about space. As you can see from another picture that Lorraine and I have prepared for you, this is the body, and you can see the four spaces which are around our body, which are our four free spaces, which are available to be danced into, they are available to be filled up with our body or with our energy. In tango, as we all know, there is a lot of power, there is a lot of aggression, there is a lot of atmosphere produced between men and ladies. Now, this atmosphere, this energy, this power, we want to release. We don't want to hold it, but at the same time, we do not want to put that aggression on the lady. So if my aggression goes on Lorraine, that will put Lorraine off balance, Lorraine will go tighter, and therefore she won't be able to follow me anymore. This is where these four spaces come in. All the aggression, the power, the stance, the presentation will dance into these four spaces. So as I lift my arm in position in tango, I am aware of those spaces. If I move, I am aware of moving energy around those spaces. And this is what we're going to see now through some very simple steps, just so to give you a feeling of this flow of energy, flow of movement, which fills all these spaces. So how are we going to use these spaces, and how are we going to make them feel different to the other dances? How am I going to make Lorraine feel that I'm going to dance tango? And how, by how can I just by standing show to everyone that I am preparing for tango? Well, by dancing my energy into those spaces, by preparing the positioning into those spaces. So if we take hold with each other, if I take tango hold, I'm already aware of my spaces. As I'm lifting my hand, Lorraine connects to me. I'm now pulling Lorraine into my space, and my spaces become bigger and around Lorraine. So if you visualize the picture which we made before of the body, space, 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 and space, now, visualize that space from my body, or for, from your body when you're dancing, filling Lorraine spaces up, and filling Lorraine spaces up, so that we are going to be in a much more dominant type of position. So if we do this again, I'm taking Lorraine in, and I'm filling Lorraine spaces. I'm in control of Lorraine. If I walk, I'm aware of this space. That is where my flow of energy is going to dance into. At the same time, into this area. So I'm very aware of what's happening around our body, energy-wise. And walk, walk. If I want to extend, I increase that extension. So again, the rain can feel the space. And that produces a very tango feel, which has nothing to do with strength. It is not a muscular issue. It's a flow of energy. It's feeling this energy and dancing this energy around Lorraine. And I want Lorraine to be aware of that, to actually feel my energy moving. Be aware of if I need an extension from Lorraine. Now, I'm not really even touching Lorraine, but still there is a communication. And that is what produces an exciting, emotional, powerful tango. So any lunge line you dance, any lunge line, do not think of dancing into the lunge and just dancing the step. OK, mechanically, maybe, maybe very correct. But again, give me a little bit of emotion, a little bit of feel. Again, awareness of spaces. 
So where is my space? Well, my power will go into this space. But at the same time, will then come around to come back into this space. So I can hit it really hard, but without affecting the rain. So we are, again, perfectly on balance. But the space, space. Now, if I drag the rain out, I'm pulling her spaces. Again, I'm pulling her into this space behind me, now into this space. I'm taking her in. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine and I are going to dance for you part of our choreography, which will definitely show you the usage of space which we have. So please, yes, look at our body. Yes, look at the step. But look at how we are dancing energy, aggression into those spaces. <laughs> 